In a video I made at the end of last year, I mentioned that I wanted to get into reading the works of Nahoko Uehashi, and by the time that video came out, I was already reading her latest fantasy series, Shikana O. At first, I was too preoccupied with looking up all the words I didn't know to notice the writing style much, but after a handful of chapters, I realized that I will not be enjoying these books all that much. Uahashi's prose reminded me of the way I wrote when I was a kid and was making attempts at writing novels, and when a book reminds me of stuff I wrote as a child, it's not a good sign. But first, I need to mention what this series is actually about. Basically, there's a fantasy empire in a fantasy world. Many different ethnic groups live in this empire, and they keep different domestic animals and consume different types of animal products. Some of those animals eat moss, and some of them don't, and so some ethnic groups get exposed to certain pathogens, and some of them don't, and so some of them have certain sorts of immunity, and some of them don't. There's a disease being spread by black dogs, and for people who don't have immunity, this disease has a 90% fatality rate. The protagonist of the story contracts this disease, but he has immunity, so instead of dying, he gets magical powers. Anyway, all of this could have resulted in an interesting story, but sadly that did not happen and the quality of the prose was definitely not the main problem. The characters in this series often sat around thinking or talking about stuff, and it never felt like their actual thoughts or their actual conversations. It felt like Nahoko Uehashi figuring out the story she was writing, like the sort of stuff that a writer would put down on the page and then edit out in the second draft because there's no need for the reader to see it, it's all very tedious. But Wahashi kept it all in, and at some point I started wondering if she edits her books at all, maybe she doesn't and that's how she manages to be such a prolific writer while also holding a full-time job. Though the biggest problem wasn't even that, but the fact that Wahashi didn't allow any tension to build up. Whenever the story seemed like it was about to get exciting, she would immediately resolve everything and make the story boring again. An anime film based on this series is coming out in September, and I wonder if the scriptwriter found a way to solve all these narrative problems. But in any case, I will not be reading anything by Nahoko Uehashi again.